Hello, and welcome to the Tangled Skein CA. My name is Sue, also known as Craftinator7 on Ravelry and Instagram, and I am most active on Instagram. This is episode three. It is Friday. My notes are here. That's why I keep looking. So just in case you want to know, it is Friday, the 24th of August, 2018, and this is episode three, and I've named it already as the long awaited one. I tried to record last weekend and I tried to record last Wednesday, or the Wednesday before last, it just didn't pan out. So as you can see, I'm in a different uh, area. This is the corner of my room, and which is the closet is here, and I now have a bookcase here, which has all the books. So let's get started. I would like to welcome new and returning viewers. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you're coming back, thank you so much for being patient and waiting till I had a chance to record. I also want to um, say a special note. I sent out a Ravelry um, message, uh, ear burning people. And for some reason, Ravelry sent it out three times, probably because of the sheer amount of people I ear burned. Basically, I took everybody who's watching Two Tangled Skeins, ear burned them so that they can come and watch me and go watch Lynn of the Wayward Skein. So if you got it three times, I'm sorry, I didn't do it on purpose, and computers, and yeah. It gave me the Bob oh crap thing on the screen, and I was like, oh no. So I'm really sorry about that. Where you can find, where you can find the podcast, so the Tangled Skein CA is on YouTube. It is on my blog at the tangled skein ca.com sorry about that and i have a blog which is on wordpress which is tangled skein ca did i say that already Ugh. anyways i can be found everywhere if you go into my ravelry group the links are all there and i will post them below on youtube because a lot of people seem to like that and having the show notes there as well so Let's get into it. I have two whips. One is the Land of Lakes by Rye Flower Knits, who is also known as Venomous Flower on Ravelry. And I'm knitting this. I don't have the other two colors with me. So ooh, let's get it right side first. So this is it. And I want to highlight this lace here because it's absolutely, holy crap. Can you tell it's Friday night? It's absolutely gorgeous. So this is a, a three skein kit that I got from Log House Cottage Yarns. This is the moss green and the gray. And then there's also a speckled cream color, which... You can't really tell. Oh, there, you can pick up some of the speckles in the white and the gray or the cream. So this is one of um, Rye Flower Knit's newest patterns. Well, it's actually not out to the public. If you, you can get it through going through Shelly's shop and if you buy a kit or something like that. So it'll be coming out on the 24th, I think, of September. So that's it there. It's being knit on US 7, which is a 4.5 millimeter. And I can't remember quite where I was last time, but I want to show that I'm using a unicorn and Rye Flower Knits logo is a unicorn. So that's for you, Melissa. I absolutely love this. I just had to tank back a row because I made a mistake. And in this pattern, she gives you row by row numbers. And so I always make sure to count because Lace and I don't get along and I'll be three rows up and oh, guess what? I'm off. The pattern looks weird. And then I have to rip it all back. So I'm being very careful, super careful. I will show you what the pattern looks like on the pattern page. I've got the row counting page is there. And is it not gonna show me? Hmm. I don't think I have the picture. Oh, there it is. So this is it, and this is in like a purple, pink, and white. 
gorgeous. I got the large, so I'm doing a large. There's a large and a small version. So you can choose your yarn accordingly if you're buying it from Log House Cottage Yarns because she has um, the kits. The kits are split up into large and small. So that's the first thing that I'm knitting. The other thing that I'm knitting are the Deadpool socks. I think I got quite a bit of progress on this. I've only just put in a marker, uh, but I got probably a little bit more than this. So this is the Deadpool socks and I'm doing two at a time. So I'm all stuck here on the progress keeper. So that, that's coming out gorgeous. Maybe I should record at night all the time. So that's Deadpool and that is by Fresh from the Cauldron. I got it at Stitches, 26, Stitches Midwest 2016. And I'm knitting this on 2.75 millimeters, which is a US two. And I'm doing these two at a time, toe up, and I'm trying to figure out which heel I'm going to do. I've used, I've done the short roll heel for many of my husband's socks. He likes it. I did the fish lips kiss heel. He didn't like it. So I think for this one, I'm going to do a heel flap and gusset. He has short, not short, he has flat wide feet. And I'm thinking that's going to fit him a little bit better. So that's what those are. The yarn is, looks like a little beehive now but it's gorgeous, squishy, I love it. And I can't wait to make myself a mini for one of my blankets, probably a small one. Oh, and my progress, geez, I'm a hot mess, I tell ya. Um, my progress keeper is, it's a cheesecake, not a cheesecake, a carrot cake, you know, carrot on top. And it's from Sucre Sucre Minis and uh, Selma got me that. Let's put that away. Sorry if I'm leaning, but I have things everywhere. I'll take a quick sip here. Now, I talked about the Zvag sweater. I am swatching it in the round with the cheat that the grocery girls showed where you knit across and slide your work over and use it, leave a long tail and then knit across again so you're not actually going in the round but you're still knitting all the rows and I'm almost done that but I put it aside because I wanted to work on the storm watch and I believe I showed this last episode so I swatched I washed I dried I figured out what I wanted and then I started knitting. I got the whole bottom, it's bottom up, so I got the whole bottom little part done and realized that I had done it on the wrong size needles. Ripped it out, cast it on again. And we're talking like 170 some stitches. After I cast it on, I got row one done, I got row two done, and I made a mistake at the end. So way back at the beginning of row two. So out it came again and I've cast on the third time but what I find really interesting about this sweater is my gauge swatch told me to knit it at 4 or 4.5 millimeters I did not like that fabric whatsoever I liked what it called for which was 3.75 but my gauge was way off so my friend Bente and I hope I did it right this time she's my Norwegian friend uh, we talk all the time and we over Facebook Messenger got it to the point where she did the math and showed me how to do the math so that I could knit it on that size needle. So hopefully next week you will see it on my needles, but that's what's coming up. And it's, I love the yarn. I can't wait to have a whole sweater. I'm hoping to get it done by Knit City, which is end of September. So that's that. What is going to be jumping on my needles next? And this is, uh, I have a bunch of patterns here, sorry about this. So this is called Waiting for Henry Socks by Tabitha Gandhi. Is that not gorgeous? Unbelievably gorgeous. And I bought this pattern, I'm trying to 
trying to find a better picture. Well, here's one in a darker color. But I bought this pattern because you're going to see later on in stash acquisitions, I got something special for this. So that's why I wanted to show that one right away. So it's absolutely stunning. I've never done color work. It's not a lot of color work. So I'm hoping it'll do, it'll do, it'll do. Oh, if I could see my show notes, it would be better. So next, the Soaring Cowl. So Designer Madness, which is my designs. The Soaring Cowl, all the testers are done. All my feedback, I've gotten back pretty much all of the feedback. And I'm knitting it again um, to make sure that I'm accounting for what they've said. And I want to see if while I'm working it, if I'm having the same... Um, it's not issues, but if I'm noticing the same thing and I'm hoping to get it out, I'm going to say mid September, because if I give a date, I'm probably, I don't want to give a specific date because I don't know how much I'm going to be able to knit on it and get it out, but it's getting there. For those of you who are interested in it, uh, it is up on Ravelry, but it is not, you can't purchase it yet, um, but you can put it in your favorites or your queue if you'd like to. So that's what's going on with that. See what's on the other side. On the shelves, so Etsy up, Etsy, Etsy updates for the shop. I will be posting an update Wednesday the 29th at 7 p.m. p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have some bags cut out. I just haven't been able to get to the sewing machine to actually sew them. I um, my shoulder is really bothering me in the last couple of weeks and so I'm trying to take a break off of any repetitive movement. Knitting is okay because I can lean my arm on a cushion and I'm okay. So let's move on to stash acquisitions. So I'm calling this in the stash which are my acquisitions. I'm going to start off with patterns because I, you all know me in patterns, we love each other. And I only print out certain designers. So if it's printed on paper, I really like this designer. So I bought The Golden Hour, which is by Drea Renee Knits. I was trying to find a really, this is a really good picture. Um, and this is one of her more, that one shows it a lot. So, and this is one of her more recent patterns. Oops, there we go. It has bobbles. Yes, I don't like bobbles. I won't be knitting the bobbles when I make it, but it, it is absolutely stunning. Stunning. Um, and this, I believe, is a worsted weight yarn. Yeah, worsted weight yarn. You need three colors, and I probably won't do the Pico binding off because you know me and Pico. We've never been friends. I've never even tried to be friends with Pico Bind Off. The other pattern I bought, and I'm hoping to cast on soon, is the Skaha Sweater by Marsha Ibuki, who is very little. And she put this pattern out uh, a short time ago. I believe this is the one that Selma test knit for her. And there is a knit along going on. It started on September 1st, no, August 1st. Um, yeah, there's no other pictures, but if you can get the gist of it, it's like a checkered in the middle. So that's by Marsha. Um, let's see. I bought, or is this part of my, can't remember if these are part of the three pattern summer sock club or not, but Either or, this is Scout by Rye Flower Knits. Beautiful patterning on striped yarn. Just absolutely stunning. Her patterns are amazing. She gives you a diagram on how to measure your foot properly. Um, so A to G and you do them. She shows you how to do the math. And she shows you how to do 60, 64, 68, or 72 stitch. I believe they're toe up and, yeah, toe up and cuff down. 
She puts an afternoon, afterthought heel, I think, in here. Beautiful, large charts, but stunning. And that is Melinda, who is Rye Flower Knits. The other pattern I got was from Melinda, and it's called Oakley. I know Oakley is part of the sock club. I could be wrong. So, get a better look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And you really need a solid color to get those cables to show up. And then Hohe was having a sale. Hohe Locatelli. 25% off until August 31st and the code was JFK. Pretty sure that was it. So I bought the Timeless Henley. I've been looking at this pattern for eons. Eons, I tell you. And I think I know what I'm going to use to knit it. I'm just trying to see if there's other pictures in here. Because I'm organized. Yeah, I like this picture. It's got buttons. It's absolutely stunning. And then here's a little bit better front view. So that's one. About three. I have several of her patterns, but hey, what's a few more? Girl from the grocery store shawl. That's what that looks like. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Although, is that feather and fan? Hmm. Hmm. I have to think about it before I cast that on. I don't like feather and fan, but that shawl is gorgeous. And the last one I got from her was is called On the Grass. Selma knit this one. Her Selma's is in blue. It's it's stunning. Hers, it, it just, oh. Every time she wears it, I just want to rub her shoulder. Beautiful detailing. And I like the collar Oops, there because I'm not one that to like uh, things stuck up against my, my neck. If it's winter, oh, all the scars are going tighter on my neck. But when it comes to clothing, not so much. <clears throat> oh, I think I forgot one. Hmm. Okay, Joe's Perfect Slipper Socks. These are by the Cozy Up Knit Girls. They have the Cozy Up with the Stitch and Sisters podcast. And this is a beautiful pattern that can use up sock weight yarn. It's in several sizes. It is toe up. There's a really neat feature. There's a really neat gusset uh, feature to it. So that one is quite interesting. I got Conduit from Lisa Much. She's always putting stuff on sale and any anytime she does, I grab a pattern. And last but not least, the Hebsaba by Janie, Janine McCarty, who is Yarn and You Girl. I actually have a green yarn that I am going to knit this with. It, uh, it has bobbles. But I'm okay with that for this shawl. Pretty sure I'm gonna do them. So this is called the Hebsava Light because she has put it out in finger uh, in worsted, and that was the first one that I bought. So there, patterns. Whew. Now let's get on to the good stuff. I am going to move this so I can see it better. So I ordered some yarn from Candy Coated Yarns, who is Dawn. She's Canadian and she's in, I think it, I think she's in Hamilton. And she also goes by Crafty Mama Designs on uh, YouTube and Ravelry. So I saw these colorways, Halloween related. This is called Trick or Treat. It's on her sweet base, which is 75 superwash merino, 25 nylon, fingering four ply, 465 yards so that's her card and this is trick-or-treat see the greens in there 
There's purple, but I'm okay with that. And there's more greens and oranges. And you know that it's just stunning. And she wrapped it up with cellophane, but tied at both ends like a candy wrapper. It's kind of cool. The other one I got is in her sweet base as well. So the same thing and it's called Halloween cupcake. Can you get enough of that? Can you really? That it's just like, oh, uh, it's amazing. I love it, Dawn. Yeah, I'm smelling the yarn. So what? I do that. Also went to, I went to Twist Fiber Festival. Had a great time. Um, I went alone for the first time, met up a few friends, did some shopping, met them, did some shopping, ate, you know, all that stuff. And so I got a few things. What I wanted really, one of the big things I wanted was a big blue mama basket. But when I got there, I wanted a solid colored basket and they didn't have any. And the prices, I understand why they're the prices they are, but I couldn't afford that. So I was walking around and I found, do I have the name? Yeah, this is called a shop called Tricotin AC. And where are they based? Out of? They're in Saint Eustache, Quebec. And I saw this and I had to have it. It says, Vite de la laine, quick yarn. Isn't that gorgeous? It's got a nice bottom there. And one of the nice things that I like about it, which I didn't even notice till afterwards, it's got this. So you can literally close it. Isn't that awesome? I think it's awesome. So that was the first thing I bought. Let me just get this out of my face first because that's annoying. And I usually buy memorabilia of some sort. I bought a water bottle in the past and I saw this water bottle and I really liked it. I thought it was really cute. So it just says Twist Festival de, Twi de la Fibre Twist Fiber Festival. So I got that. Um, this kind of and I went to Biscuit and C, which they are a self striping, a lot of self striping yarns. And I bought myself a notebook because green, come on, you know me. Love it. I absolutely love it. And I bought one of their tumblers, and it is called Mayo Make It Your Own. The reason I bought this was because. I want to do this. Yeah. You can actually put a sock on in, inside of your mug because the bottom screws off and you can put it there. Is that amazing? So happy. I actually got one for one of my friends too. So I'm going to be using some self striping or some speckled or something to do that. It's going to be awesome. I got one of these Snap and Store personal carry cases. Green. Oh, Tricotin, where I got the basket, gave me this as a gift for buying. I thought it was cute. Got a pin for my wall from them. And then I saw these. I've been looking for some scissors because right now what I use are the Swiss Army knife scissors. I've got four or five of them but I wanted something that was quick to open and had a cover. So I got these. They have this beautiful little cover and grain. I got myself two. And those are made by, it says Super Snips Mini. Whoever that is, I'm not sure. I think I have another case like this somewhere, but cases, notions, pouches, come on, can never have enough. What else do I have in here? Right, and I also bought this cute, let me just get this 
Oh, it's actually stuck on there for a reason. Oops. One second. Bear with me. Bear with me. I got this. Bow, heart, and yarn. And it's to make this. Try not to get a glare. So it's a wine bottle, knitted wine bottle um, cover. And yeah, I've got yarn, but I thought this just the packaging was so cute. Just love it. So now that I have the pattern, I'm going to knit the first one out of this and then I'm going to see what else I can make. All right. So the day before twist, Instagram's your friend. Yes, Instagram's your friend. Keep telling myself that. So Annie from Knitting It Up um, posted this the day before Twist. Yeah, it really is that color. It's a little bit more burgundy. This is called, um, it's her Draper Base, 100% Superwash Merino DK weight, 280 yards. It's called Wicked Games. Isn't that gorgeous? Ugh, love it. Keep piling stuff up on my lap there. Sorry if I seem out of it. It's Friday. It's almost 10 o'clock. So the Waiting for Henry socks, she had kits. And it's on her Monklin base, which is 85 Superwash Merino, 15% nylon, 437 yards. Like, sorry. Is that not stunning? Let's hold it like this. So you've got those greens. And then here you've got... The specks of yellow. So you can use these for the color work or you can use something else. But this is absolutely stunning. Waiting for Henry is going to be made out of that. So let's get this stuff back in the bag because I have one more thing. Actually, no, I forgot to show this. So this was bought at Twist. See if you can see the name there, Jezebel, and it is a one of these bags. You can stick your arm through it and knit, and on the inside, it's got this beautiful fabric. And when you're actually sitting and knitting, you can fold the handle around. I saw this done at the festival. And you have a little pouch. You can sit that on a table. And all of her items, well, most of them, and I think all of them, have this beautiful little leather detail. So this is a medium size. I was going to get the small because my friend from work, Ashiel, got a small, but I decided not to. I wanted a medium. I already have two of her Notions pouches, the small and the medium. I have it in a blue fabric. So that was something else I got at Twist. I got a bag in the mail. I finally got my hands on a Birch Grove bag. Finally. I love how she has these like leather pulls. It's just got a white fabric inside, but it's the perfect size for a sock project and it closes up nice and tight. It's perfect. So I got that. Next, I received a package today and it is from my friend Bente. We, we chat on Instagram, we chat on Facebook and she went on a trip and I saw these llama things she was posting. So she got me this coin pouch slash notions pouch is what I'm thinking with the llama and it's hard open it up and she had added into my package 
I don't have a big collection of these pins, but I'm starting to now. Can't really see that, can you? I'm not gonna focus because of my face. So that says Tom's Tom so? I'm probably butchering that. And this is Nerve. I'm not sure what that says. It's N-O-R-G-E. It's a moose. And the other one is, I think that's their flag. So those three things are in my little notions pouch. Like I said, it's a hard case. It's really cute. The other thing she got, llamas. I thought this was a notions pouch. No. Oh no. I didn't keep the... If you, see, if you go on Instagram, you'll see. It's not a notions pouch. You open this thing up. And it becomes a backpack. Isn't that the cutest? I can't wait to use this. This is awesome. <sighs> I'm like gonna use this on my knitting cruise for sure. Oh, love it. So cute. And then the minis. I saw these and I almost died. This is the first one that I noticed. Countess of Blaze, it's an arm race. It's an arms race. It's on her Lady Persephone sock yarn, which is blue face lister and nylon. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? So depending on how much it weighs, I have a bar bar <clears throat> I have my barn raising blanket, which takes 20 grams, and then I have my mini sorry, my mini blanket, which is my mitered square which takes five so I it if I can squeeze out one of each I'll do it if I can't squeeze out one of each I'm going to do um oh, brain I can't think I'm going to use my my I'm going to do it on my mitered square and I might share a couple minis with some friends yeah I'm sure they'd appreciate it but Countess Ablaze is kind of local to her she's in Europe so hmm Lucky her. The next one that caught my eye. You think she knows me? Mm-hmm. This is five yarns and it is a Kelly colorway. So much there. That's better. So, I mean, this is at least 10 grams. That's why I'm thinking this one might be more. Then, Yarn Cafe Creations, Pumpkin Carving. Can you say holy cow in a skein? If I have to pick another color, another favorite color, other than the Kelly green, the bright green, or the forest green, orange, every time. Nora George Yarns in the Quidditch, Quidditch? Quidditch? I've never tried her yarn, so. That's kind of really... It's beautiful. Next is Knitology in the Mold Wine. So you see those dark specks in there? Those are gorgeous. This is Drops Delight Single Ply 7525. I don't know what color it is, but it's purple. A little scratchy. So I wonder what. But hey, going into a blanket, it doesn't matter. Uh, this one, the label came off. So this one is chromatic yarns in the Fort of Magic. I think it says. That's purple. That's not showing up. That's sho oh my god, that's showing up blue. It's purple. Literally, it's purple, not blue. That is so weird. Weird. No, not blue. Well, there's blues, but it's not that blue. 
I tell you, cameras. Then I have the Punk Rock Unicorn. I love this one. <gasps> oh, it makes me think of Melinda. And this is called the Hurrah Colorway. It's a minty green with a few specks of color. Oops, sorry. In it. And then one last one. This one is Chasing Rabbits and it's in the Forager Colorway. Beautiful. Now I need to reach for something because I forgot to grab it. <sighs> Sorry about that. I ordered this from Yarn Cafe Creations. It's called The Grudge. It's Autumn Halloween Horror Collection. Biscotti Sock Fingering Weight 8525 Superwash Merino and Nylon. <sighs> the story behind this. Bente, this is ben, Bente? I really need to learn how to pronounce your name. I hope I'm not butchering it. Um, I think it's her fault. It's your fault. It was this or Dragon Horde Yarns. I got this one. Went against my instincts and got this instead of the like electric green that I was looking at and why I picked this, I don't know. <sighs> On screen, the skein that she had showed a lot more green. And yes, I know indie dyers are not all the same. I understand that. But there's so that looks blue. That's purple. And then you've got the rusty orange, which is coming out. And there's some greens. But it's just not me. So this is going to a friend of mine. She knows who she is. Early birthday present. I'm not going to use it. And hopefully she'll give me a mini. It is what it is. Okay. Where are we? I think I've done most of everything. Let's do something else I got. So this was from Candy Coated Yarns and oh, my dog, sorry for this crinkling. My dog got into the bag because I forgot there was candy in it. She didn't get the candy, thankfully, but she ripped the crap out of the cellophane on my two skeins, but this one is pretty close to safe. This is called Boo. So, blacks, whites, purple, orange. Look at that. Gorgeous. And she sent along two packs of tea with candies, and I chose to give the... This is going to be a giveaway um, mid-September. No. Mid to end of September, because it's a Halloween color. And this is called Organic Cinnamon Rooibos Chai. This is a David's Tea. And there are candies. And I'm really glad my dog did not get those. So stay tuned. This is going to be a, a future giveaway. I just love the packaging. It's candy. It's candy. I'm telling you, it's candy. Let me check my show notes. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I forgot to mention when I was talking about designs. If you want to be on the list to test pa future patterns of mine, I have a couple in the works. I'm hoping to get the Soaring Cow out soon. There's a thread in my Ravelry group, the Tangled Skein CA. Put your name in there and I'll add you on the list in the first post. What else do we have? Uh, podcasts. So I, I watch a ridiculous amount of podcasts. I can admit it. I can watch them at work. Well, in the background, I don't have them show video podcasts. I don't have them on my screen, but I'm listening. And if there's something I want to see, I click on it. I'm lucky that way. So I'm going to mention two podcasts every time I record so that you guys can go check them out. One of my favorites right now, this very minute, is Rye Flower Knits podcast. And that is with my friend Melinda, a.k.a. Venomous Flower. I love her. She's on her own. She was in another podcast before, but now she's out on her own and she's it's all branded to Rye Flower Knits. She's professional, uh, professional. She's professional, knowledgeable, sincere, sweet, amazing designer. I would love to be in her brain. She's a tech editor. She's my tech editor for my patterns. This is amazing. 
Um, so go and check out her podcast, Rye Flower Knits. She has a group on Ravelry. Um, I just love her. Love her to pieces. The other one I wanted to mention was Crafty Mama Podcast, and that is Dawn, behind the, the brains behind this. Uh, go check her out. She, she has quite a few episodes out. Quite a few. Um, and we're going to be doing a, col a collaboration um, later on this year. So that's that. Uh, for my shop, ongoing coupon code, 15% off all the time. TTS15 at checkout. Now, if you forget to apply the coupon code and you can contact me on Etsy, contact me, the tangledscanesca at gmail.com. I will take that off of the amount. I will refund you your money if you forgot to use the uh, coupon code. So not a problem. So I think the last thing to mention, yep, I went through it all. Last thing to mention is the giveaway winner. We, I left it open for about two weeks. This is Firefly Fiber Arts Row Counting Ring. Let's see if I can, yeah. so that's the ring. It moves, well, that's better than I did last time. If you're gonna see those numbers. Not focusing very well right now. So that, it's a size 10. It's the size she sent, she sent me because I got one for myself. Cute little box she sent it in. Why is it not focusing? Melinda, I feel your pain. And this is her card. And so I did a random number generator and it came up with the number 34. That was the last post in the thread before I closed it. The last post was by the Batty Knitter. Shella, you won the ring. Who says posting last never wins? So hey, congrats, you're on vacation right now, but I will, and she actually, we actually work together and knit together at lunch every day. So this is awesome. I love, I love being able to give things to friends. Um, so I will bring that in for you. <sighs> Congratulations, so happy for you. So that wraps it up. Sorry if I was babbling, bumbling idiot, whatever you want to call me. Mm. <sighs> if the fan noise annoyed you during the podcast, I'm sorry, but it's hot in here. So I'm going to try and spruce up my little corner here um, to make it a little bit more lively than this gray. And I want to turn the camera a bit, so hopefully you don't get motion sickness, to show you a little bit. Let me move some stuff first. To show you a little bit of what my knitting corner, like my getaway, is going to be. Lots of things. We'll just shove it all over there. So I'm going to pick it up and turn it. So hopefully. So I've got some knitting. I've got the top shelf is all books. My own books. Those two side flat rows, uh, rows of books, those are in to read books. I've got a basket here. Sorry about that. And that's what I have. And oh, I just noticed I totally forgot to mention something. I bought a bag from So Shannon YYC. She's on Instagram. She's posting these bags. So the, the bottom, it's a vinyl, so you can put it down anywhere. It doesn't get your project or anything dirty. It's these sheep. Absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. The best part about this bag, where's my zipper? She has these beautiful things on the ends. The best thing is, <laughs> I have it stuffed chock full of something right now. Look how huge this is once it's open. Like, compared to my head. I could probably wear it. It's huge. It's got pockets inside. 
I picked the outside, I picked the coordinating color. It's absolutely stunning. Love it. Just like, it just folds down like a doctor's bag. So I was sporting this a twist. I left the little tag on here because I wanted to make sure if people asked me about it, they could go on Instagram and find you. So hopefully it gets, oh, look at that. Hopefully you get some sales. Um, they're amazing. If you follow her feed on Instagram, so many different combinations, so many wild and crazy combinations, but they work. So this was my choice. Beautiful bag. Love it. So I'm going to, oops, sorry. I saw the top of my head. So I'm going to wrap things up. Oh, no, I'm not. Sorry. Not sorry. Let me take a drink because I bought some fabric. I need a little pick-me-up to get my mojo for sewing back on. And I mean, I went to Walmart and they had this new, like, they kind of redid. We have two Walmarts. I went to the new one. And they have the, the section and they've kind of redid it and revamped what they're putting in it. And so, uh, there it is. So I got me some fabrics. So. Bees because bees how can I say no to bees then I got oh they got all messed up because my dog knocked them off the table oh was that for that sorry I'm a little messed up yeah that wasn't for that sorry this is what it's supposed to be bees with that bright yellow in there that one goes with this so you're going to see these neon sheep. Then I got this kind of Paris. No, this is a, what do you call that? Mm, kind of French thing. That. <clears throat> this is the one. This is the Eiffel Tower one that I find absolutely stunning. I got some like gray calligraphy kind of writing with it. This is, you know, I like foxes. So I got some foxes. And I got some more foxes. So there, now I'm done. I promise. Hopefully some of these will end up in the shop very soon. So I'm going to let you all go. I think that's a wrap. Can get my show notes out of here because you know I've looked at them plenty of times. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So the baddie knitter, you won the prize. Congratulations! We're going to have a draw pretty soon in the next month or so for that uh, boo yarn. And so I will leave you. Hopefully, I won't be so long before I record again. Thank you all for your patience, and happy knitting. And don't drop your stitches. Bye. <laughs>